fly far, far, far away from here. Dear God, make me a bird so I can fly far. Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. Therefore be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Hi everybody, glad to be with you today and I wanted to get with you on what's going on this coming month all the way through the month of September. It's just about getting ready to start and we want you to participate. And we got a few guys that typically participate. We got some newbies that participate. Now I'm a newbie when it comes to woodworking. So there's some out there that's not too concerned with me and that's okay, I don't mind that. I like the competition and the guys that's been doing it for years and years and years, you know, you know we'll see what uh, y'all can come up with. Uh, but there's a few guys out there that's talking a little trash and and wanting to uh, get some controversy up. Well, it's on. Mike Fulton with MF Woodshops. I thought that you may have gotten some new lights in your workshop, but I noticed that in your last video you was having a bad hair day or something. And then when you bent down, I seen it wasn't the lights, it was just the glare coming off the top of your head there. So I don't think I have to worry too much about Mike because a lot of his stuff is what Steve Ramsey would call stolen from other woodworkers. Now Steve Carmichael, this is the cat you gotta watch out for. This guy comes up with all kind of stuff. But I'm trying to figure out what music has to do with birds and what he could tie that into. He's done the Blue Jay with the drums and he's built a guitar and what can you build with that? Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. There's a guy out there on the other side of the pond you gotta watch out for, Dominic Bender. Now he's got a angry two by four that um, tends to beat up on him a little bit. I believe I'd seek counseling for that, Dominique. But I didn't realize about the birds over there on that side. I thought they were more dragons. Dale Weinke. Beaver Valley Woodworking. Beaver Valley. Beaver Valley. You live in Wisconsin. What was you thinking? No, wait. <laughs> Don't tell me what you was thinking. But I do agree with Matt. Don't do it. Now, Nick Ferry, this guy's good. He's fairly new to the woodworking YouTube community but this cat knows how to do woodworking. So there's a lot of good things I think are gonna come out of Nick and some might even be out of the closet. Yay, woodworking's for everybody. Yay! Oh, Matt, 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 Matt. The bearded woodworker. I tell you what, this guy has got some balls. No, really. Have you saw his last video? He made some balls. I've got big balls. They're such big balls and they're dainty big balls. I was kind of confused whenever I saw that he might be entering this because, from what I understand, he lives up in Canada. Okay. Do birds fly up that far? I didn't realize they had birds. And you talk a lot about summer, so I figured you really want to be somewhere where it's warm, nice, and somewhere like, you know, Australia. I got a perfect birdhouse that you could build, Matt. A cockatiel. So make sure you go to Summer's Woodworking on Facebook. Check him out. 
You need to also check out his YouTube channel, Summer's Woodworking Show. Great show every Saturday night, 8 o'clock, over here on the East Coast. Now, also, he's got another YouTube, The Tool Review. Check him out. The subscribers that he gets help build his base. By building his base, he can sponsor these contests that he, put, that he puts on, the 2x4 contest, the birdhouse challenge, all these things which helps draw sponsors, which helps gives better prizes. So the more subscribers, the more entries, the better prizes. Jump on board, build you a birdhouse, and jump in with all the fun.